Offensive coordinator Brian Dable made things very easy for Josh Allen during the second half of the last season, and he did that by emptying out the backfield and spreading things out for the rookie. In Week 17 versus the Dolphins, Allen completed 65.4% of his passes. He dropped back five times while in empty, and only missed one pass while racking up 83 yards through the air out of this set. The formation makes it very difficult for the defense to disguise coverages, blitzes, and can easily open up the middle of the field for shifty receivers like Cole Beasley or tight ends like Jason Kroon. More importantly, as you'll see on this play, it gives Allen total command of the offense. While this was only a 6 yard completion to tight end Jason Kroon, I want to take you inside the playbook to show you everything that goes into a simple completion like this. Dable sends out 21 personnel and aligns an empty. The personnel keeps the defense in their base look with three linebackers. The play call is 75 D curl Y juke and it is what we referred to previously as a landmark throw concept. The X and Z receivers Zay Jones and Robert Foster are plus two yards outside the numbers and are running deep curl routes. The H and F Chris Ivory and Patrick DeMarco run flat routes and the Y Jason Kroom runs a curl typically right over the ball. With the passing concept laid out, let's listen in to Allen take command of the protection. It ended up working out great in his favor and has the ability to get up, make a 12 yard gain out of it. If there's a good place to prep for a December game in Buffalo, it's the high plains of Laramie where he went to college at Wyoming. So 75 or Linda protection is an empty set, hot right protection versus a four man or even defensive front. Allen calls this because he believes that the Will linebacker, Kiko Alonso, is not likely to blitz given the defensive front and their alignment. If he did, Allen would be responsible for the unaccounted defender and likely would throw to his hot route because the five offensive linemen will block up the five rushers that are showing at the line of scrimmage. As you can see, the defense is showing at least a five-man pressure and making the coverage look like man coverage. But on the snap, defensive end Cameron Wake drops into the hook to curl zone and linebacker Raekwon McMillan rushes. This illusion of blitz, which transforms into a four-man rush, is known as a simulated pressure. It's meant to attack or stress the protection, but still create pressure without sacrificing coverage. The defense settles into a cover three look, which usually makes the hook by Kruma slam dunk, but because of the alignment of linebacker Jerome Baker and the coverage being more of a pattern match variety, Kroom has very little room to operate. As he shows his numbers to the quarterback at the top of the route, he does a great job of sliding to green to create a sliver of separation in order to get where he needs to be. Allen accurately rifles the pass in there for an easy completion on first down. With the entire play broken down, let's go back down to the field to watch it all unfold. And has the ability to get up, make a 12 yard gain out of it. If there's a good place to prep for a December game in Buffalo, it's the high plains of Laramie where he went to college at Wyoming. One of five first round picks and all five of those quarterbacks starting by the end of the season.